Speak, speaking of buying the dip, fucking remember Quibi? Yeah, what's up with Quibi? Apple? This is like old news. Hell no, Apple wouldn't touch that with a ten foot pole. But apparently, Roku like bought up fucking some Quibi shit for a hundred million, about a tenth of the cost it cost to make Quibi in the first place. So Dang. I was just listening to a podcast today about. CEOs that destroyed people's wealth, but also made their own. And he was talking about Meg Whitman, the former CEO of eBay, who fucking uh, bought Tumblr for a shit ton uh-huh. and then like sold it for less. So like it was basically burning like, what did he say? Something $300,000 a day. And then with Quibi, she raised $1.1 billion dollars two months later sold it for a hundred million so that cost them like what you think he said like 13 billion a day damn yeah a lot that's a lot of money it's so she doesn't have a great track record is this guy roku's vice president of programming rob holmes dude he's killing it he looks like he's creating shareholder value <laughs> that's the smile right there look i'm creating jobs i'm creating wealth not only for myself, but for other people. And I'm creating entertainment. Quibi shut down access. Gets a second shot at gaining an audience when they shift to the Roku Chanel. Roku Channel streaming service? Is it called Roku Channel? Or is that something that Roku hasn't told me about? There's a little channel on Roku called Roku Channel. I deleted it because I didn't want to Let's watch Roku Channel. Oh, it's Roku's channel? Yeah, so I guess you can watch Quibi on Roku channel on Roku. Die Hard, bro? Kevin Hart? Dishmantled? The cooking competition show? Oh, how and fun. Everybody's favorite thriller, The Most Dangerous Game, starring Liam Hemsworth. Sweat that Patel, Roku's vice president of engagement, growth, and marketing, praised the quality of Quibi's content and said, yo, y'all made fire shows. You just couldn't give it to people. And said she believes it will resonate with Roku channel viewers because not many people have watched those shows. That's right. That's your reasoning, dude? Like, yeah, dude. People are going to love it. They've never seen it before. Startup led by Jeffrey Katzenberg and tech industry veteran Meg Whitman. They folded their Quibi creation after failing to get by a pop-up even after I put a period after com and a plug-in. A little tip. Put a period after calm. You get a little, little treat. Hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, it just failed, dude. You just sucked. Didn't get it. Damn. You know who else is... Anytime to win, dude, it was the time you guys rolled out. You never know who else is destroying shareholder value? Probably. Whoever's running Clubhouse. Oh, yeah. Clubhouse isn't doing well. Like, low-key, if I were them, I would be scrambling for someone to acquire them quick. I like, feel- I have knock no- knock Facebook. Hello. <laughs> Can I have, you scoop I have us up real quick? No sources in the game. I have no ear to the streets. I have no people on the inside. But my one person sentiment of Clubhouse is that there was probably a lot of people trying to buy them at the beginning, and there's probably less people now. Yeah, especially when subscriber gl- growth slows a shit ton. Are we still only on Apple there, uh, Clubhouse? I'm not sure. You got a little Android, huh? Maybe a yeah. little Linux or something. I don't know. Like definitely, like I got like Clubhouse yo, hey Twitter. My mind. Who else could buy Clubhouse possibly? Dude, they don't, I mean, for what? <laughs> what do you mean for what? Like, why would you? Why would you buy Clubhouse? So you got like a couple million people to that are already on Twitter, already on Facebook. So you don't have to start from scratch when you want to copy their product. You can uh, you can just literally meld their engineering already, team into your company. Already melded their things in. I mean, Twitter did it. Facebook doesn't really have an audio thing. Yeah, but you know that could take months versus weeks. Twitter already did it. Twitter already did it. But also, you know, a billion dollars is nothing to a company like Facebook. So it might just be easier to acquire them versus going through a bunch of like hiring a bunch of people. You know, Twitter probably did it because maybe they couldn't afford fucking Clubhouse or something. I don't know. Maybe. 
still costs a lot of money on board a lot of people. Costs a lot of money. Costs a lot of money and trading and HR and a bunch of bullshit. On board another app. You just put on a little mini business inside your business. Got to create things around it. But yeah, fuck the onboarding. The real meat and potatoes is they already have a software that's already up and running. Like starting a software from the ground up is a lot of work. That's why that's like that's why Apple bought Beats instead of making Apple Music from the ground up. They literally just slapped Apple on top of it. 